Hey everybody, welcome back. So today, uh, I just got a package in from Third Rail. It's this Golden Gate Depot Battleship Gondola in the Pennsylvania road name. Now this is a fantasy, a fantasy paint scheme, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's definitely unique and different and it's a really nice piece of rolling stock that I thought I would share with all of you. So let's take a look at it. <laughs> So just taking a closer look at this model, uh, this was offered by Third Rail um, and is prototypical to the Virginian and CNO. Uh, but I got this model in the Pennsylvania Fantasy Scheme, which they did um, because I just thought it was unique and different. And if you follow any of my stuff, you know that I, I like things that stand out. And this certainly does that. So. Um, this is based on a prototypical car that the Pennsylvania Railroad had. Um, it's just a little bit different being that the, the mold is, you know, more similar to the CNO or Virginian model. But um, the, the prototype is a G23 gondola, which the Pennsylvania Railroad had. And uh, you can see some pictures of here. Um, but this was originally built to, to haul coal in the early 1900s. Um, and, uh, again, just something that is really unique and different. It's a, a great big car. Um, so I'll put up here, uh, for comparison in a minute, a, a two bay hopper, um, that again is not prototypical for the Pennsylvania railroad, but just a standard two bay hopper that you can see by comparison. And this car is almost double it in length. So, um, let's do that now. All right, so here you can see side by side, you know, what is a standard two bay hopper uh, versus this, you know, great big Pennsylvania Railroad, uh, you know, G23 or Battleship Gondola. So quite a bit of difference there. The other thing that you might notice is actually this car has six wheel trucks. Um, so I'll show you a little bit closer here, the construction, but the, the overall quality of this car is fantastic. Um, you know, I really expected nothing less from Golden Gate Depot. I have a couple uh, things from them that I've ordered on the secondhand market and they're always fantastic. So let's take a little bit closer look at the construction um, and some of the, some of the finer details here. All right, so looking at the underside of the car, you can see we've got six wheel trucks here. They they roll pretty freely. Um, I haven't lubed these up or anything yet. Um, I will do that. But um, yeah, the, the great big six wheel trucks, you know, really make this car stand out. Uh, and then we do have these coupler, these couplers do move. Um, you know, I, I wish this tab was black instead of silver, but you know, from when you're looking at the top of the car or the side of the car here, it's really, it's not noticeable, so not a big deal. Um, but overall, we'll just kind of spin the car around here so you can see some of the some of the add-on details. Don't mind my fingerprints on there. Um, and you can see the undercarriage detail as well. All those are separately applied. And then uh, this does come with a coal load. So that was a separate piece that you can get from Golden Gate Depot. Um, I think it was an extra like 20 bucks to get it, which, you know, in my opinion is quite a bit for a coal load, but, um, you know, I have made my, my own in the past and have done so with several, but, uh, you know, I just decided to spend the 20 bucks and get the, get the coal load. And I'm glad I did. Uh, this is a really nice one. Um, it might need a coat of dull coat or something on it. It's a little shiny. Um, but you could see all the, all the slits here in it actually keep it really snug in the car um as you can see it's designed specifically for the car itself now the interior of this car as you can see does have quite a bit of detail and honestly um, if you wanted to run this car empty uh you could you know i, I didn't know what the inside of the car was going to look like and a lot of my coal hoppers have coal in them so like i said i decided to get it but i don't think you need the coal load um you know if if you don't uh, if you're not sure about spending the money on it. So yeah, overall, really great car, runs great. Uh, haven't had any issues with it. Like I said, I need to, to lube it up a little bit, but uh, yeah, really happy with it. So as of the time that I'm recording this video, there are still some available. Um, if this is a car that you think you want to add to your collection, I'd encourage you to go to Third Rail's website and order it quickly, uh, you know, whether it's this road name or one of the others. Um, as I understand it, they're moving pretty fast. But without further ado, let's, uh, let's run this car around the layout um, in a coal drag and, and show you what it looks like. Yeah. 